Today we're going to do more exploring and we're going to come up with more distances and times from the Wakula room back to the main line. We're going to try working at different speeds through the scooters. We're going to do a bailout and we've got a couple of other people that are actually running a line meter. Every day we begin, we all meet up at the Tortuga and we have a meeting defining who's doing what and how we're getting there. Oh, and that's all, that's all we're doing today. Okay. Once we've had a meeting, we load up the trucks, we head down to the pit, and we get there and everybody falls into their job. Some of the equipment has to be lowered immediately. The stage bottles, scooters, camera equipment has to go down on a pulley system. The objective of the dive was to get uh, real world measurements of gas consumption as well as the actual distances from the various points where we were going to stage the payload gas. On this particular dive, we broke down into two teams. The first team was for Claudia and I to go down and we were going to do scooter all the way to the back of the Wakula room, right to where the BMG restriction begins. And from there, we began to perform our bailout tests. We wanted to see how long it would take to swim in bailout mode. From there to the first stage tank that we have, actually at the beginning of the Wakula room, and then we have to swim from that stage to uh, the next bailout tank, which is further on into the Gardenia room through the restriction. And then we make it up to uh, the last point where the 50% are uh, towards the end of the line. So we swam all of that in bailout mode and we recorded all of those times. Uh, we then went back and we scootered all of those times uh, in various in first, second, and third gear to see how long it took and we recorded all of those times as well. At the same time, we had uh, Tim and Alex go in and they went down through the Gardenia room into the Wakula room. And they were actually, they have a, a measuring device that actually measures the distance of the line. So Alex and my job was to run a line meter across the main line to get accurate measurements. Doing it on a scooter wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. The reason that we do this is we had the distances in mind, we kind of knew what we were doing, but it didn't turn out exactly the way we thought it would. We learned that some of the distances that were previously mapped were not accurate. We now have a good map of everything from the far side of the Makula room all the way into our deco chamber, into the cavern zone, and we know exactly how long it takes to get there, which is key. This gave us some real data on distances so we could plan future dives and future bailout. Dive went excellent. We had uh, a run all the way to the end of the Wakula room and dropped off some stage bottles for additional dives tomorrow. And uh, then we uh, timed the distance from the Wakula room back out of the cave so we have some uh, distance and time for decompression bottles. During this dive, we went down to the 250 foot restriction where Alex then attached a measuring system to measure the footage from that back out to the pinnacle. So we got a lot done today. We were actually able to uh, learn a few things. We, we were able to find out valuable information on uh, how long it's going to take to swim these various points. Um, are the bailout tanks positioned where they ought to be? Are they the right mixes? and uh, we now know not only for the divers, the forward team coming through it, but the safety divers also are aware of what the forward divers might be going through in the event of the bailout and can better serve them if, they, if there's anything going on. So we really accomplished a lot today and we feel good having this information. Here, right? We'll know how long five minutes is and then I'm
stay tuned for more video from Ad Helium's exploration of the pit.